Hello everyone. Now, this lecture 22, we are going to understand how to group your personal sub area for work schedule. So, what is work schedule? Work schedule is basically the working pattern an employee is supposed to work in a company. It is scheduled, right? Schedule means like what time? Schedule and work, working time. So, work schedule is the pattern of time which the employee is supposed to work. In this lecture, we are basically grouping the personal sub areas for work schedule. What does it mean? Let's see. So, we will be understanding what is personal sub area grouping for work schedule and what is personal sub area grouping for daily work schedule. From the lecture 21 till end, these topics are important because these are the bits of pieces because in the end of this uh, section, we have to join all together to generate a work schedule. Right now, it is bit of pieces bits of pieces like uh, if you see the previous lecture I have created a holiday I created a holiday calendar I just left it like that now I am creating the grouping I will leave it like that going down this is there is a one more section where we will join all these items together so let's understand what is personal sub area grouping for work schedule in this step you group your personal areas and personal sub areas for work schedules. What does it mean? Let's see the example. So, in your company, personal sub areas XXX1 and XXX2, these are two personal sub areas and they work according to the same work schedule rules and are both assigned the same grouping. What does it mean? For example, in your company, there are certain personal sub areas and they have the same working pattern like there is early shift, there is uh, afternoon shift, there is night shift and there are some other personal sub areas. They also have the same shift, uh, same uh, pattern like they also have the early shift, they also have uh, a night shift, they also have a afternoon shift. Then what you do? instead of generating work schedule for personal area separately you basically group them in a single group and then generate the work schedule for that group so that it is applicable for all the personal sub areas which are belonging to that particular group so it is very you know easy way i would say because instead of creating a personal uh, like a work schedule for one personal sub area separately Again, generating a work schedule for another personal uh, sub area separately. It is a time consuming. So, SAP uh, basically is giving an, an option like if you have certain personal sub areas where the working pattern is similar. So, SAP is telling us to group them in a one group and then generate the work schedule for that particular group so that it is applicable for all the personal sub areas which are basically belonging to that group. So, here I am telling the example here like the personal sub areas this and this probably they might have the same work schedule rules. So, they have been assigned to the grouping 01. Now, suppose this personal sub area XXS3 has totally different conditions for work. So, this can be assigned to a separate grouping because the working pattern of personal sub area 3 is not equal to the personal sub area 1 and 2. So, let us put it in a separate bucket called separate group. This is basically personal sub areas for the uh, grouping of personal sub areas for the work schedule. Now, let us see what is personal sub area grouping for daily work schedule. So, what is work schedule? You know, daily work schedule is the daily time. Work schedule in the sense like, oh, this personal sub area was working basically in the early shift, night shift afternoon shift that personal sub area was working accordingly early shift afternoon shift night shift that was the grouping of personal sub areas for the work schedule now this is the grouping for daily work schedule let's see the example it says employees in personal areas xxx1 and xxx2 have been assigned to personal sub area grouping for work schedule 01 which we have seen and employees in the personal area XXX3 have been assigned to grouping 02 because 
the box coolant is different but all three personal areas use the same daily work schedule meaning the timing is same 8 to 5 for example if you consider personal sub area 1 has a normal shift for example 8 to 5 personal sub area 2 it also has a normal shift 8 to 5 personal sub area 3 also have a normal shift 8 to 5 so this is grouping the daily work schedule so that is the reason why we group personal sub area for the work schedule and also we group the personal sub area for the daily work schedule if all the personal sub areas are using the same daily work schedule so let me go back to sap and show you how basically group the personal sub areas so navigation part is same so if you go here go to time management go to work schedule and you can expand this particular uh, node personal sub area groupings now click on the first node what is it group personal sub areas for the work schedule i am clicking on it so now when i click on it i here you will find your personal areas and sub areas which you have created in the enterprise structure so whatever you have created in enterprise structure will automatically get reflected here so i didn't uh, enter this personal area sub area again it automatically came up from there the only thing which i maintained here is the grouping i am entering some grouping number 09 so this can be any number you can enter any number of your choice but you have to remember this number now after saving i go back and then i basically group the personal sub areas for the daily work schedule so this is personal sub area grouping of work schedule and this is personal sub area grouping for the daily work schedule so i have to assign this grouping meaning that personal sub area grouping for the work schedule and personal sub area grouping for the daily work schedule so i assign the same number here so this is how you group your personal sub areas based on their work schedule if they work with the same working pattern you group with a similar number hope you enjoyed this class thank you